heavy cavalry was an integral part of the Mongol army. By definition, they were fully armored. Heavy cavalrymen were troops who went into the thick of the fighting. Mongol heavy cavalry had steel helmets, but they also had this very distinctive form of armor here, known as lamina, made of steel, rawhide, and even leather. Now, in this example, you can see how the individual scales have been laced together, often with doe skin. Rows of lamellite, which in turn was then sewn into fabric or leather backing. Lamina armor is wonderfully robust. It's flexible, relatively lightweight, and easy to repair. The Mongol heavy cavalryman, in his characteristic lamina armor, was the hammer in the Mongol war machine. All Mongols, both heavy and light cavalry, were capable horse archers. However, for the heavy cavalry, shock troops that rode into and smashed the enemy, the bow was of secondary importance. Their principal weapon of first contact was the lance. Using the momentum of the horse, the lance was mostly used point first to strike and pierce a foe. It could be used with great precision. Strikes with the point were effective, but the Mongol lance had an additional feature. Not only did you have the spearhead for running into and through the enemy, but you also had this hook to haul them from the saddle. It took considerable strength to pull a man from his horse. And doing so took him out of the fighting just as successfully as a head-on strike. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Mongols used the sword to slice their way to victory. But they also had this, the great mace which they used with two hands. <laughs> Mongol armies were famous for their ability to move fast and strike with surprise. But their heavy cavalry was a brutal shock force that could overwhelm crush an enemy with raw power.